What's going on guys, VigBP back with another Game Case Arcades video. On this one today, we're looking at the Xbox 360 and Xbox Live Arcade using Xenia. Uh, so now real quick, I'm going to be really honest, I've been playing um, literally maybe about for four or five hours just testing out games uh, on this emulator. I've been testing a couple of games. I wanted to play some real Xbox um, games, you know, that are like main titles like Halo. Um, we're going to go through it. Not all of them will work. Just keep that in mind. But real quick, I'm just going to exit Hyperspin and just bring up again what I always stress, which is the compatibility listings. If you literally go to Google and just look up Xenia compatibility, you'll get a big list. The hard thing um, is that as I see, as I pick games and I kind of, you know, go through them, um, it looks like some people haven't really updated certain games since 2019. Uh, you do get some people that, you know, tested and they actually put their input on it and stuff. Um, but in all honesty, as far as comparing it to PlayStation 3, I think the PS3 has a little bit more uh, games workable, but not in a bad way. Um, I'm going to do a couple of games that I do know work. Um, they might not work flawlessly, but they do work. Uh, but the big thing I do want to definitely show off is just kind of launching within Hyperspin. Uh, this way you could all see it and such. Let's boost up real quick the volume a little bit. So first one I'll do real quick is going to be the Xbox 360. And I'm going to do the Unreal Tournament. Again, I tested this. What's crazy is that... Let me just lower the volume. What's crazy is that inside of Xenia, um, it shows this game as, like, not playable. But it wasn't updated for a whole year. So this compatibility listing, again, it's kind of tough to say. It's, you know, I kind of sound dumb when I say it. But, you know, you, you just don't expect every single game to work. It's just a given. So I'm going to just hold down A. And this just, like, um... Which is like that, it loads up. So, uh, pretty quick, um, there is no zip files on this, so it doesn't have to extract and such. We'll over the volume. I've never played this game. I've played the beginning, just to make sure it works. And, uh, again, my main thing was to show you guys games that first kind of work. Uh, and then we'll just kind of wing it and see what's up with the other ones. But I'll launch them outside of Hyperspin. Uh, what's also great about this, um, don't worry about the online feature. What's great about this emulator is that this is actually using Xbox 360 CE. Uh, it's the program I use for the arcade sticks to look like Xbox controllers. So it's basically plug and play. It's very easy. You could literally just turn on the Xbox controllers and they'll work. It's four players on it. So it's really cool. I was trying to play some UFC. Um, but unfortunately, it just it wouldn't go through. Get a move on, Big Brother. Down the hall and through the door. Or so again, using tired. Xbox controller on it. If I could get over this ledge, that'd be great. <laughs> so right trigger to fire. Left trigger, got it. Figured we'd start with a stationary target. Switch to your impact hammer and smash that welding drone. Unit needs repair. Okay, sounds like you're through. Now switch back to your shock rifle and shoot the door controls. Left button brings this up. I'll give you a head start, but you better find me before I find you. I have a feeling like this is what started Gears of War, I think. So anything you see here, like that little kind of lag you saw, I experienced that too. So, you know, again, some games will work. You might have a couple of hiccups. I'll show you another game that I did when it's a couple of slowdowns on it. Uh, big thing I did notice that um, basically there is um, uh, there's a couple of settings you could do in Xenia. You have to kind of experiment with it, uh, such as setting it to Vulcan. Um, I set this up to Vulcan and it wouldn't work with Vulcan. Okay, I thought that was a. Uh, thought I was in. Oh. 
<laughs> uh, so if you try to set it up to Vulcan, some games work, some games don't. So I was trying to play a game with Vulcan, which was um, Forza, and the game worked, but then it wouldn't work in this game. So it's like, you know, you kind of have to go in now to settings and modify stuff. Uh, again, this right now is running uh, Unreal Tournament. We are in like a single player game. Really like a campaign, I guess. Do you think that's hitting her? <laughs> five kills remain. Nice one, big I five left. I want to pick this up. Oof. So also the other thing I did notice that if like I guess it's I mean it's not what PPU shaders like PlayStation is, but um when I first launched this I had a lot of those hiccups that you saw earlier. Oh shit. I think I just killed myself on that. <laughs> I press pause. Uh basically though if I I relaunch this and it's a little bit much smoother than when I first was, you know, playing it. Um, so maybe, you know, if you do kind of launch it and then reload it, might be a little bit different. Uh, but right now, I do want to try to get... Uh, I didn't try it, though. I'll try to get two players going uh, just for kicks. Oh, come on. I wonder how this is like a campaign mode. Cool. So, I mean, as you can see right now, Unreal Tournament, I don't believe this was on uh, PlayStation. So, this is a... Uh Good to go, honestly. What do I need? Three more? I don't want to waste, waste too much time on one game. Next time a fellow can train you. Whew. The minigun wasn't that good. But yeah, so again, like I said, uh, just a lot of testing needed. Um, you know, definitely want to look up compatibility listings and just see that the game you even want to play is even available. I'm using a lot of the left trigger. Oh, oh okay, cool. You have won the match. Cool. That's me. Hm. Okay, so now let's see if uh, anything happens. So, I mean, again, just, you know, I literally spent, you know, I'm, I, I try to gather at least a couple of games. Like, you know, we're going to launch actually. Um, uh, how do I exit? We're going to launch, like, uh, Grand Theft Auto. Which Grand Theft Auto 4 did not work on the PlayStation 3. And for some reason, I can't find a good PC version of it. But it did actually work on this. I don't know if it worked fully, but it did work. Looks like we're stuck doing some crap jobs before the Izanagi trust us. And what's crazy is that a lot of these games, they do launch. But then you do get like an error in menu and stuff. Play, you are on red. Okay, you're the boss. So I never got past this, so knock him down. Hello. I'm on your
Where we at? I'm taking heavy fire. Oh, I need a new gun. No. Oh. <laughs> All right, so there you guys have it. That is uh, Unreal Tournament. So again, on the Xbox controller, holding the Xbox logo, it brings us back into this. So uh, real quick, I'll play another one that I was playing, but it kind of had stutters to it, uh, which was Call of Juarez. There's three of them. Um, I was playing this one, Call of Juarez, the cartel. So I'm going to... Loading complete. I actually don't know if I'm on the right one. I press Call of Wars. Let's see. So again, a lot of these games they boot. Like you'll literally see this; they'll boot up, but then you know you might get in-game crashes. A lot of times now, I keep getting a Zania, the guest crashed. So this is not the game I was playing before. We'll try it, but uh, I wasn't playing this one before. I was playing. Um, it was the car the cartel one. So I did test this one, and uh, it I, you're gonna see we're gonna get into this kind of minigun thing. I can't tell if I'm supposed to see my character right now, but uh, basically I was shooting the minigun and then it kind of crashed. It had a graphic uh, error thing pop up. Literally, you're going to see in about maybe a minute, I may or may not get this graphic error that we saw before. Okay, I'm definitely getting farther than when I first tested it. Right now, like, I literally had a graphic error. Like, uh... Open GL kind of error going on, but right now I'm actually playing it. And again, I haven't checked the compatibility listing on this. I think honestly, when I was looking at the compatibility listing, and you just look up ones that are just playable, it was like 280 games that were marked playable. A lot of them, though, were um, Xbox Live Arcade ones. Damn. I'm taking a lot of bullets right now. Come on, come on. Where are we at? Okay. Interesting. So, you see, maybe the second time I loaded it, I don't know, but the first time I did have a graphic error. And this is, uh... I never played this. Call of what is. I'm Billy. I'd never say who my father was, so I don't got no last name. She gave me this medallion before I could talk. This is a compass. Cool. Press start for objectives. Again, I never played Call of Juarez, but... So again, any little stuttering like we just experienced just now, it's not my Elgato, it's what I'm- what you see is exactly what I see. What is this? Oh my god. I'm holding down left stick so I don't fall like I just did before. Oh. Oh, that looks like a good slope. Great, now I can't run, I can't jump over this. <laughs> what the heck are you doing? This is private property. Okay, okay, easy. I'm going to get into a gunfight right now. <laughs> Oh, 
I should have read that. What did that say? On the roof of the barn is a weapon sash. Open it. On the roof of the barn. Okay. <laughs> This guy doesn't see me? Uh -huh. <laughs> Great. And I can't jump over? What a waste of time. Oh. Did you hate that? I th it, when holding RB, use to lean. Okay. I don't even know where the guy is. This guy doesn't see me? <laughs> okay. It says on the roof of the bar. Climb on top of the barn. Place a box. Damn, this game is complex. Okay. My box is moving. Okay, all right. <laughs> like I said, I we right now are getting farther than what I did. That's that's the objective. I do test the games kind of before I even start the recording because I don't want to just sit there and waste your time and my time to unholster left or right gun. To reload ammo. I told you to get out. Get off my property. No way. Stand behind barrels and try to hit the bottles placed on the box. Shoot old Jones, would you? I got nothing against you. you. Don't need no trouble. Now what? I did. I mean, like I said, I'm, I'm kind of shocked that uh, this is working. I literally had a graphic error before. A call of Juarez right now. Okay, okay, am I supposed to shoot this? <laughs> oh, took the shot, screw it. <laughs> I'm here to see the one person on Earth who ever gave a damn about me. My mom. Other than my stepfather, there's three some bitches in particular I hope to avoid. I'm not gonna go too far. I'll probably just. I'll give it like another minute. But as of right now, this is, uh. This seems to be playable. What's happening? No. Drop the gun, restore it. What did that say? And use. What the hell? To drop the gun, restore it up. And use start. Is that not the start button? Oh, the menu button. Fine. Welcome. Move. <laughs> Just got to town and the sheriff's already on my ass. Son of a bitch. 
Damn, I gotta get myself a gun. Look at those hombres. They look like trouble. Get a gun. <laughs> Feel a candle, is that you? Boy, you're growing like Trying to just skip these cutscenes? Stand still. Let me take a measure. Hmm. Just in case. <laughs> you wanna see me plan it already? Well now. Looks like you're as tall as Reverend Ray. Okay, alright. I don't wanna talk to you. <laughs> well, Billy Candle, ain't you a sight for sore eyes? Susie, she keeps a gun in her drawers. I'm pissed at you, Billy. All right, Is that's that it. That's Call of Juarez. I'm gonna hold the Xbox button down, and let's see. So this one, I gotta fix my artwork. That's not the right one. Call of Juarez, Bound of Blood, the Cartel. So there's two of them by accident. So I'm gonna do this one now with the Call of Wars, the Cartel. This Learn one I was playing lead. the intro. Um a couple stutters, but in all honesty, like there was just so much action going on on the screen. So I couldn't tell if it's just like, you know, the 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 ROM is bad or if there's just too much action going on. So see this is a Xenia message right here. So this is storage device, hard drive. You just press OK. A couple of times you could get a, um, like, you'll get that where it says, um, oh, cool, it actually skipped, um... Do you think this interagency task force it has skipped the resources the actual to intro. make a difference? Absolutely. The president is determined to stop the spread of drug-related by... I gotta get out of the city more often, man. I kinda actually want to show you the, uh... So many trees. A perfect place to hide in marijuana. I'd rather show you the, uh, actual opening scene. Let's see. I'm going to go back to the menu. I'd rather show you the actual stuttering that I was experiencing. So, campaign. Start game from new off, game. You'll get the red. So, again, I just want to show you guys the actual uh, kind of stutters. Again, to me, it was like there was just a lot of stuff going on. I mean, you're talking about like there was we were in a car and we're out the window Jesus and there's people Christ. chasing us. It kind of was playable and then it was so here we go So you can kind of see it, you can even hear like the, the little stuff, but again, there's just like so much stuff going on, that's why I figure that that's the issue. Exactly what you guys are hearing, I hear, it's not my Elgato. I mean, it's not brutal, it's not horrible, it's not like you can't play the game, but just keep that in mind. Hello. We have to get the fuck off this freeway. Who the fuck knows? It's kind of interesting how it went from like the west to like this <laughs> unless it's just not a continuation kind of storyline so i mean like i said i was playing that you could hear like the stutters and stuff so i mean you know some people might complain about it to me it's playable you are able to play it it's not perfect like the actual rom but you know to make it's not too bad Absolutely. So this, I just wanted to show you that as far as stuttering, I'm going to hold the Xbox logo that exits me out. Uh, I will do real quick, Grand Theft Auto. Again, unfortunately, Gears of War didn't work. I'll boot it to show you it, but I did want to show you Grand Theft Auto 4. Um, on the compatibility listing, you can see it actually loads up pretty good. But again, the reason that this is about close to 7 terabytes worth is that they aren't zipped. 
these games are not zip filed at all. So uh, it's pretty interesting too how fast this kind of loads. I mean, I had Grand Theft Auto 4 for the PlayStation 3. Yeah, the PS3. And uh, it actually broke my PS3. <laughs> uh, I remember that there was a whole phase where people were saying that Grand Theft Auto breaks your system. So this right now, like you can see right now, this is flying through the cutscenes. Uh, meaning actually the loading screens, I mean. So I'm just going to skip. So now in the PlayStation 3 one... The emulation on that, the car would just like fall through, and you could go back to the PlayStation 3 uh, gameplay for this. But as of right now, I am even shocked that it was playing this. And Grand Theft Auto 4 had that stupid, you hold the B for this kind of cinematic thing. It was very weird. So again, this even does have, um, uh, it was like, I think, it was, yeah, it was that Liberty City Stories. It's a whole separate disc, apparently, or something like that, where I think it's downloadable content. I don't know, but uh, it does have it. So again, like I said, PlayStation 3, the emulation wouldn't even load up. It would The car would literally fall through. So like, for example, running this game on this Xbox emulator, it's, uh, it's pretty cool. Just gonna skip these. And again, like I said, I couldn't for some reason, even on the PC version, the PC version is just awful too. Um, but to see this working on Xbox 360, I personally never finished Grand Theft Auto 4 because like I said, it uh, it bricked my, my actual PlayStation. And I was pretty far and I said, you know what? The storyline, I'm not even a total fan of it. Like I was with like Vice City and San Andreas. Um, so I didn't even bother trying to finish it, but we right now, not really much, uh, you know, issues on this. Now, again, I haven't seen the compatibility of this thing on this. Uh, I don't think it was marked playable, but again, you're talking about people using some old hardware, 2019 updates, you know, it's just, I, I don't want to keep saying Eugene's PC is that beast of a computer. But as of right now, you can see we are we are literally able to play this. I remember this. Every time you tried to like <laughs> try to um take a car, you would always get like bumped. So holding down right D pad will turn off the music. I need to do that so I don't get demonetized. So you kinda hear like the the car I'm not sure if this is this specific car doing that. I'm gonna just jump out. <laughs> Who doesn't love just some free roaming on Grand Theft Auto? Um, let's try a different car just to. Oh, all the time. That was the one thing that I hated about Grand Theft Auto 4. <laughs> the slightest tap would make you go flying. Um, I will do real quick UFC. It did not work. But I do want to show it off at least Early just so you could see the for xbox controllers how it's easy to um just basically turn them on and they'll just connect so i do know for a fact this did not work this game didn't work it was a in menu error but i'm just launching it to show you the four players on it so i'll go exhibition and it'll bring up at least this so right now there's no menu sound I'm just going to turn on any four random Xbox controllers. So you can see there, controller 2 turned on. I'm going to turn on another random one. That will bring up controller 3. There it is. And again, just another random one, controller 4. So as you can see, Xenia just recognizing four player on it. It's, it's pretty easy. So I'm just going to continue with this. Right now, we have no music. There's no sound on this. And basically, what would happen, according to the compatibility listings, is that you would, after this menu, you would literally brick out. Okay, I'm getting farther than when I was um, testing. <laughs> Zane, it keeps kicking my butt.
So literally that that character selection screen, I pressed enter and that was it. Game froze, wouldn't move. Right now we actually have like something happening. So we do have the loading screen going. Nothing has stopped. Um, you know, nothing has frozen. Luckily, like the loading animation on the top right is showing you that something's happening. We even have the ticker at the bottom still moving. So that's a pretty good thing. Oh, yes, I, I don't think this is going to launch because, like I said, in compatibility of those things, it was marked as not playable. It was marked as intro menu. Let's see. Again, the only reason I launched UFC was just to show you the four controllers how easy it is to just turn them on and they're active. So, no. I'm going to mark it. Done. Holding the X. Alright, so what I'm going to try now is to launch uh, Saints Row. Uh, just to show you the error message that I was getting. So, Saints Row. Loading complete. So, again, uh, compatibility of this thing marked it as not playable. I never got into Saints Row either. Apparently it's supposed to be like Grand Theft Auto. So I'm able to go here. I'm just gonna, you know, skip the character creation. I'm able to skip and then right at this point here, when I cross the street, uh, I get an error message. So there you go, there's one. So the guest has crashed, Xenia has now paused itself, a crash dump is written. So that's it, this game just, just crashes. So you have to just exit out. And I, I just stay getting that. Uh, we could try real quick. Um, I don't think this. Let's try Saints Row Two. Loading complete. Like I said, a lot of the games they launch. Like you'll get, you'll get the intro videos, but then it's just right when you get in game. That's it. So we have another one. Here we go. See, the guest has crashed. So I'm going to hold the Xbox logo on that. Uh, I'll probably just try maybe... I tried Skate. Skate crashes. We'll do Gears. I'm pretty sure there's a lot of Gears of War fans. So we'll try that real quick. So if I do Gears of War 2. Loading complete. And I know Gears of War 3 doesn't launch. I, I know that. I can't skip this. <clears throat> We're getting far. It began <laughs> as always with the desire for power, the need to conquer, the hunger to consume. Inevitably, this led to conflict. Humanity fought an endless battle against itself until it was forced to unite against a power far greater than it. No, okay, I could just press the menu key to skip. And I would assume we crashed. Oh, maybe not. Okay. <sighs> Just gotta be patient, that's all it is, gotta be patient. <laughs> so press the menu button. Um let's do training just for kicks, just to see if yeah, we could even get it. Lucky me. Go easy. So hitting the menu key lets me skip. It's an honor to serve with you, okay. Sir. Interesting. I hear that you're the Sergeant. one. Who so I'm experiencing a slowdown. Yes, sir. Uh, Sergeant Phoenix. 
Must be good to know you're fighting with a pendulum war hero. <laughs> He's just Marcus to me, man. Name's Dom, by the way. Good to meet you, sir. Uh, Dom, you see action in our watch here? Rook, we can talk history later. Concentrate on your training now. I don't need you getting religious out there. I left them. <laughs> Holy. Oh, right. Full of holes. Got it. First things first, Rook. Stay focused on your mission. Best way is to check your TACCOM before the bullets fly. Mine says teach the Rook the golden rule. Oh, uh, I know. Do unto others as you would have... Not out here, kid. Golden rule of the gears is take cover or die. You know how to get into cover, Rook? Show me. Okay. Keep your head down, eyes open, check your surroundings. Always keep your head down like that in a firefight. You'll be fine. Okay, people, let's move out. Yo, you said your name is Carmine? You got a brother was a gear? Yeah, all four of us. Well, three now. You know one of them? I serve him. He's a good soldier. No respects. Thanks. Just good to know he died a hero's death. Uh, yeah, right. Hey, Marcus, check this shot. Okay, so far not too bad. I mean, I'd rather judge it when we get into a firefight. What the hell was that? Probably just a stray dog. No, no, uh, it was bigger than that. It looked like a, a weird monkey dog thing. Wretch, shoot it! Hey, that's it! That's the monkey dog thing I saw! You hit him? Don't think so. Looks like he got away. You ever seen that before? Yeah, but they usually travel in packs. All right, stay alert and use cover. The other ones are probably around here somewhere. Nice mantle, Rook. Not an easy maneuver to make in full gear. Nothing here. Maybe they're in the alley. Let's check it out. <laughs> Grab a few of those grenades. I got a feeling we're gonna need them. Damn, someone needs to do an ammo sweep around here. What'd you call that thing, a monkey dog? I got a special bone for it. Oh, awesome! Wait, there's another one! Uh -oh. Watch out! Get up. Thanks, man. Dom, I'm gonna get that checked out. Nah, just needs a few stitches. It can wait. Let's get in there. Fire up your lancers, Bill. Almost looks peaceful from up here. Almost. This damage came from your grenade? Sure as hell didn't come from yours. Hmm. Nothing up here. Just <sighs> uh, I just want to get into a little bit of a firefight and then we'll call it. Let's head back to the hospital. Whoa! 
those ravens are in a hurry. That can't be good. Looks like vacation's over, kid. Head back to the convoy drop-off. Stay there till I call you on your TACCOM. But... That's an order, soldier! Dom, let's move. Let's see how gameplay works. Okay, so we got a little bit of uh... You still here? <laughs> I don't I don't think I'm supposed to shoot them. Anya, what'd you find? A lead on a Django. It doesn't look like she I'll fill you in later, Dom. I have to get back to control. Alright, Anya. Good luck. Damn it! Kill these goddamn grubs. Let's move. Pressing the menu button to skip. Luca's got some serious sex coming in here like this. I doubt it has anything to do with courage. They just don't realize they've been sent on a suicide run. Maybe they're just desperate. What do you mean? <laughs> maybe the light mass bomb hit them harder than we thought. Or maybe something else is going down in the hollow. I don't know. Heads up, Delta. Some of these patients have rust lung. <laughs> okay, take position along these windows. I took the far side. Okay, Delta, I'm back online. We have confirmed Locust presence in the hospital. I repeat, Locust are in the hospital. Yeah, well now we Alright, let's see how this firefight goes. Now we're gonna call it for this one. I'm on it. I'll looks like Gears of War 2 playable. Hold fire till they're right below us. We want to get as many of them in the courtyard as we can. Most of those supplies are actually fuel tanks, Delta. Part of the ambush. Here they come. Get ready. Slung, emotion sickness. Cases have been popping up all over since the light mass bombing. It's a horrible way for a warrior to die. Uh, contagious? They say it's not, but I'd keep my distance. No argument here. What's happening? I'm trying to get that animation out to see if it works. Alright, I'm gonna call it Gears of War 2. Playable. Xbox logo out. We'll try Gears of War 3 real quick. Long press on that. Loading complete.
Let's see. The big thing also, uh, ever is, you know, I, I literally just downloaded Xenia again as if to do an update. So maybe this update did something. I'm not too sure, but, uh, we are launched into Gears of War 3 right now. We do have a cutscene going. Menu key to skip, that's good. Anya. Wow. Wait. A little bit of a slowdown, let's see. The locust had broken through to his house and he called in to sleep. Goodbye. Says he's sorry. He says... Gears of War 3, again. Maybe me downloading the Xenia did an update, Marcus, but... What in God's name are you Try to skip. Let's just see, because I don't want to talk too soon. Okay. Dad, keep your head down! Okay, everybody find some cover. Spread out along the wall. Got a little bit of a slowdown. Come to the Look out, we've got more grubs. Take them out. We gotta give them some time. Oh, this is when they introduced the reload thing. If you could reload fast enough or not. It was always his work my father cared about. His research. Wow, Gears of War 3? This is, uh... He tried to save his work. I tried to I said, save a little him. bit of, uh, stuttering, but again, there's so much going on. A it lot of stuff going on. to do it. Do a little bit more. Come on. Skipping the uh, cutscene with the menu button. Oh, it kicked me out. Damn. Loading complete. Try it again real quick. I'm not sure why it kicked us out, but it kicked us out. Let's see what happens. Try it again. Dad, keep your head down. Okay, everybody, find some cover. Spread out along the wall. Take them out. We gotta give them some time. Okay, I'm gonna try it real quick because it kicked us out before. Maybe I won't skip the cutscene. It was always his work my father cared about. His research. He tried to save his work. I tried to save him. I disobeyed orders to do it. And it cost us the battle. Okay, 
right, so let's see right now. I'm not, I'm not gonna skip the cutscene. I still can't see that far. But you can't save them all. I'm not gonna cut, skip the cutscene. I'll skip it. Okay. So, right now, before you did witness, it just kind of kicked us out. Uh, not too sure why, but right now we are back in the game and we are still controlling a little bit. You looking for Santiago? I can't tell what happened. My controller is spazzing out. Okay, we got a little bit of a stutter. It's okay. I know where to find him. I got control now. Okay, maybe that little kind of exit was just a bullshit thing. I didn't hit the Xbox logo. And then not to mention you do have to long press the Xbox logo to exit. So maybe it just wasn't ready for me to skip the cutscene. I don't know. But right now, I mean, Gears of War 3 is semi-playable. Just kind of maybe let it load. There's a lot of stuff going on. Damage response team, muster at hangar deck. All personnel, alert state 2. Hey Phoenix. But Gears of War 3 guys, uh, I'm this one this is playable. This seems Better good. Hope we don't. Holding Xbox logo on that. Interesting. Um trying to think of what other ones that we could see. Oh, you know what I did want to see um I know it works on PlayStation 3, but we already did a PS3 video. Let's see real quick if NBA Jam. Long press on that. Let's see what we got. EA Sports. It's in the game. All right, let's see. Yeah, so this here, uh, we do get a guest crash thing. Uh, I'll try it one more time. Loading complete. EA Sports. It's in the game. Try one more time. So no, this game crashes. So NBA Jam is a no go. Uh, maybe we could see if I have. Um, Uh, Red Dead Redemption would be actually interesting. Let's see. There's two DVDs for Red Dead Redemption, though. We'll just do the first one. So, Red Dead Redemption. The other two with the two DVDs was Game of the Year version. So, let's see what happens with this.
Some Red Dead Redemption. Interesting. Let's see. I played this. I wasn't a total fan of this. Uh, I'm just going to continue without saving for now. I wasn't a fan of Red Dead Redemption. I do even have the new one for the PS4. Uh, it just... Uh, it's kind of a miss on my end, to be honest. Okay. I'm just pushing Jake out of the way. <laughs> All righty, Mr. Marston, let's get. Let's go, Mr. Marston. No need to be making no trouble. Take it easy until we're out of town. Ain't no point in causing a rush. Cool. Red Dead Redemption. I'm right now just. Come on, Jake. I can't stand that. <laughs> All right, relax. I'm just gonna hold down A and ride with him. This is why I don't like this game. It's just... <laughs> it's too slow. Skipping this, let's see. Come on. Oh. <laughs> oh, Nelly. Oh. Whoa. Whoa, Nelly. <laughs> Just skipping these cutscenes. Let's see what's going to happen. Alright, I mean, so far, uh. Move out of the way. <laughs> so far, it seems a okay. This is no graphical issues, minor stutters, but just trying to see if I can get into like a gunfight real quick. Oops. Figured it's 
Oops. Oof. I want to walk with Bonnie. I hate when she walks. See, I think that's why I didn't like this game. It was just too slow paced for me. Alright, I'm calling it. Red Dead Redemption. I'm exiting out. It's just it's just too long to me. Uh, let's try one that somebody did ask me for the PlayStation, which was Blur. Uh, I did try to play it, but it, it just... It was either missing a shader or something. Uh, let's see what we got real quick. Blur. So, long press on that. Loading complete. And then I'll hit a couple of Xbox Live Arcade ones. Uh, I do know, for example, really the Xbox Live Arcade ones are demos. Somebody wanted to see like a geometry thing. Uh, we'll try that. So skipping this, skipping this. I was able to get in game, but it just the the color wasn't right, or it was missing something. It was just very white, like how you see this. Yeah, see, it was very white like this. So uh, blur is just a no go, to be honest. Again, I'm able to navigate and I'm able to start a game. Okay, even like the car selection screen. Like I said, I'll let it go in-game, but it has like just this very high-pitched white going on. And uh, it's just not playable. You can't even see the cars, so I'm going to skip. Yeah, see, so I I literally right now I can't see anything. <laughs> I'm just like basically following these green marks right here. So no, they like said blur. It's just a hard pass. You want to play like this? That's fine, but this isn't really what the game was meant to be played with. Uh, maybe I can go into like an options and just see if I could. I could lower the brightness, but that's it. <laughs> Again, if if those if these weren't here, these green markers, I would most likely be off road, and it'd be a disaster. So we're gonna go out. And again, a lot of Xbox games. I tried to do Borderlands. So let's do that real quick. Borderlands did not launch for me. I kind of got stuck on a complete. character selection screen. Again, you're gonna see. Most, if not all, these games will launch. It's just a part in the game might not just work. It just might not work at all. Two thousand nine, eleven years ago. Yeah. See, so I was able to get past this. I was up to here, single player. I started this. Um, I believe I could skip the cutscene. No, I couldn't. Could I? Yes. Maybe? I don't know. No, I couldn't skip this. I'm gonna skip at the end of the video. Yeah, I couldn't skip this. Alright, so the cutscene just ended. I'm gonna show you basically. I'm gonna be able to pick a character, but then within three seconds of the character selection screen, it, it kind of bunches out. So, I'll skip. I said it's you're just gonna hear it just repeating. I got up to this, then that was it. There it is. I didn't even move anything, I didn't pick anything. And there you go. So Borderlands is a no-go on that. And I literally like let it hang on that for like a minute. 